Welcome back. As always, be sure to leave a comment if you have any data to this video. Also, be sure to check my other channel, YC Games. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So, originally, I was just going to make another generic PS5 review because I've had mine for quite a while. But, a couple problems. I'm just really torn on how I feel about the console in general. And I realized that, really, it's not a question for most people, at least, of if you should get a PS5, but more how you can. So instead I decided to switch it up and instead make this video basically being why you don't need a PS5. Now, I know that's kind of basically what my last video was, but that was all before either of the next gen consoles came out and why I said I don't think you really need one. This is me with experience with the PS5 for probably about a month now I've had mine, and I have had a ton of issues that I'm going to share with you now, so that's what this video is. Let's get into it. Now I'm going to separate this video into two major categories. The first one being issues. Now these are non-intentional things because honestly the PS5 did some things intentionally that just really bugged the hell out of me. So let's just start off with the non-intentional issues that I've had. Starting off with crashes. Now this is a next-gen system and I understand that with every generation we've had so far, especially the first few like console iterations that come out, the first few batches always have some bad eggs, but I've never had my PS4 crash this much, and I've had that for a lot, lot longer than my PS5. That is kind of unacceptable, and I realize, again, it's within the first batch of PS5s. I understand there should be some issues, and it seems like I'm the one having this issues. When I got my PS5, two of my buddies got them at the same time, same day, and I just seem to be the unlucky one that has mine crashing. Not constantly, but I've had it do a full crash where I had to like physically hold the button to reset the console three times so far. That is pretty ridiculous and again I've only had the console for a month and of those three times two of them happened within the first like two weeks of having it so that is mind-blowing that I've had that happen maybe three times of the entire f five years I believe I had my ps4 five or six I had my ps4 for six years and I've had to do a hard reset three times with the ps5 in a month I had to do it three times that just boggles my mind Another issue I've had quite a bit is frame rate drops, and I realize that this is definitely more on the game side, but it's just bizarre to me that a lot of different games have like a performance mode and then like, you know, a beauty mode or whatever you want to call it, where the game looks fantastic, which don't wrong, the game looks fantastic typically, depending on the game obviously, but something like Godfall, which I have gameplay of later, and Miles Morales right here, the game looks pretty freaking fantastic. Now, did it need a PS5 to look this good? Probably not. I feel like the PS4 could especially handle Miles Morales. But it kind of upsets me that I have frame rate drops when I'm playing in performance mode, you know, the mode that's supposed to eliminate that kind of stuff. I p purposely choose that mode because I think the games look good regardless. I don't need the extra little whatever BS they're adding to make it prettier. I think it looks good in performance mode and I don't want any frame drops, but yet it still happens. It's happened to me a lot, mostly in Godfall, and it did get fixed, so I feel like that's mostly the game, but it did happen in Miles Morales, and even had it happen in Dead by Daylight a couple times. So again, that may be the games, but it's happened on most of the games I've tried on the PS5 to make me think it's all the games. I feel like the PS5 should be able to handle this kind of thing, and obviously it can, but why are, the, why are these things happening across the board? It's not just one game. It's happened with almost all my games. Now, the last big issue I've had that wasn't a deliberate choice, or at least seems like a deliberate choice, is that for some reason when I put the PS5 into rest mode, my controller won't always turn on. Like, it, it almost turns off, like, throughout the night. Like, like, I have a power outage, but I don't have power outages that often. Like... My, my PS4 boots up just fine, so the, there was no power outage. Like it, there never was, you know, power cut off to it. But the controller won't turn it on, and it goes through the menu like, oh, it was improperly turned off when I put it into rest mode. Not all the time, but it's kind of bizarre. Like, 
I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with my electricity, but I doubt it because, like I said, my PS4, no problems. It will boot up just fine in rest mode, presumably I, if I didn't have a, a power outage. But the PS5 seems to have some issues with that once in a while, and I have no idea why. And again, two of my buddies got PS5s the same day I did. They have not had as many issues. They had a couple of crashes, a couple of frame rate drops, whatever. This definitely seems to be a just me problem, but it's still upsetting. This is next gen. This, sh I mean, I'm not expecting perfection, but I am expecting a little bit better than this. Now, I, I say intentional problems, but I don't. Obviously, I don't think they were meant to be problems. But these are just some problems I have with the PS5. First thing off is the menus. Now, having it for a while, I don't mind the menus now, but it definitely took quite a while to really get used to them, like more than usual. Now, now that I'm used to them, I get it and I, I can accept it. I can maneuver it uh, easy enough, but I still get confused, especially how similar it is to the PS4, like, you know, playing on the PS4 for five, six years, whatever it was, and now having to transition to PS5. I'm so used to the PS4 menus because they're so similar, yet not quite, that it, it, it is kind of infuriating. But now that I'm used to them, it's a little better, but I do still get confused even after having the console for a, a month. Another big issue is the limited storage. Now I understand that was you know, mostly done to keep costs down, and you can have extended hard drives, but then you can't, like, it's some weird thing where you can't play PS5 games off of an extended hard drive. And they definitely can't take any uh, use of the SSD because that's just simply not how it works. So it is frustrating only having to be able to select certain games. Got my PS4. I have a 2 terabyte external hard drive. I have a shit ton of games downloaded to it. Like, way more than I'll ever need. But I'm just one of those people that, like, you know what, I feel like playing... Doom from 2016 today and like just play a couple levels of that and then switch to something else like I don't know I just enjoy playing older games if I just feel like it once in a while so it is kind of frustrating that I can't really do that it's not so much an issue yet because the PS5 really doesn't have many games yet so it's not an issue yet but it's definitely going to be coming because I have already ran out and that is frustrating but also just while I'm here, because I've noticed in the video while I'm recording this, you can clearly see just blatant issues with this game in particular. Now they fixed a lot of these issues, this is an earlier recording, but yeah, you can tell like the frame just stops for a split second, and in this game it, it fucks me over a few times. That's just a side note I've noticed while, while watching, while recording. Another big issue I have is that all these graphical upgrades are only slight. Like I kind of mentioned earlier, the PS4 could probably handle a lot of these games, and the upgrades aren't that great. Now, obviously, this is something that will be more taken advantage of in a few years. Like, once games actually have these consoles in their hands now, the developers have them in their hands and can make games for these systems. But, for now, these graphical upgrades are not good. And all those games that have, like, a free update, like uh, Dead by Daylight, Rainbow Six, I can tell a difference. But only because they told me there was a difference. Like, if I was just playing Rainbow Six on the PS5 and I didn't know that I downloaded the PS5 version, it, I, I wouldn't feel like there's a difference. Like, I had to be told, oh yeah, there's a difference. And now I'm like, oh, I can see the difference, but uh, is there though? So that's just kind of an odd issue. Again, that will be fixed in the future, but that's one of the reasons why you definitely don't need a PS5 yet. However, speaking of PS4 versions, this is the biggest issue I have, and again, I don't know if this was intentional or if it's like some weird glitch, but it is so frustrating owning a PS4 version of a game, because I had a PS4 for how many years? Again, I have so many games for it, and a lot of those games I want to keep playing in the future, so I downloaded my PS5. And some of these games, like Dead by Dale and Rainbow Six, are the two big ones that I play that I've downloaded to the PS5, have PS5 versions for them. But for some dumb reason, if a game has a PS4 version and a PS5 version, it will download both to the PS5. Why? 
it won't even like let me select it sometimes. It just downloads it. And then I have to go through uh, the already limited storage and delete the PS4 version. Now that should be the end of it. However, I have experienced playing Rainbow Six. There was an update after the PS5 update came out. There was another update and it downloaded the entire PS4 version of the game again. So I had to go back to my settings and delete that version again. The game runs fine without that version. There's not like there's any files that transfer over or whatever. The game runs fine with just the PS5 version. So why the fuck do I have to download both versions just to delete one? I feel like this is more of a glitch, but it it almost seems intentional because it's just weird. No, no, don't get me wrong. I'm really happy I can download PS4 games on the PS5 to play them. That's awesome. But if there's a PS5 version, why does it not automatically download the PS5 version? Like, that's just mind-blowing to me. And that's really my biggest issue so far, other than the crashes and the frame drops. But, like, you know, just, like, yeah, Godfall, it, it's gotten better. I swear the game's gotten better with the, the frame drops, but holy cow, just rewatching this gameplay, terrible. Now don't get me wrong, I'm glad I got it, I'm glad I'm playing on the PS5, it is good for a lot of things, however, it's honestly almost good that there is such a limited stock, like that it's hard to get, because honestly, this needed more time in the oven. Like, the whole console, the games that came out for it, like, everything needed to just wait a little bit longer. And obviously, it's going to get better with different updates and whatnot, but it just boggles my mind how next-gen, you know, the big, the big console, like, the one console that I, I, I was, like, really looking forward to for a long time came out in this state. I don't know. Again... It's great. There's, I'm definitely glad I'm playing on it, but there's definitely some issues that need to work out. So there's definitely no reason that anyone needs to run out and try to get it as soon as possible. And that's kind of the point of this video because I realize they're hard to get and a lot of people want them. But if you can't get your hands on it, don't worry. When the next batch comes and they fixed, hopefully fix some of these issues, you'll be definitely getting the better product than I did. So yeah. That about does it. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but that's because I didn't know what else to talk about. So if there's anything you guys want me to make a video on, be sure to leave it down in the comments. And as always, please, seriously, like, add to this discussion. If you were excited for a PS5 and, you know, still want one, l let me know what your thoughts are on this video. Or if you do have one and you haven't had these issues, you had had these issues, let me know. I make these videos just to have discussions, but they always just turn into me talking to myself. So, you know, be sure to go down in the comments. And that's it. Uh, see y'all next one. Remember, the world is not about anything, but keep your stick on the ice. We're all in this together. Bye.